Hello again, John Cornelius here. And uh, some people asked me to do a, a little video of the how the wood gas generator works, how I've got it set up, and so I'm gonna do that here in just a minute for you. Uh, but first of all, I'd like to talk about wood pellets. And uh, usually where I get it around here is tractor supply, and tractor supply told me that, that one of the factories burnt down and that they're only getting it from, from one factory now, and that's why that the phone keeps ringing. But anyways, no, that, that's why there's, there's a shortage of it. And so uh, I hadn't been able to really run mine because I don't have wood chips that, that are affordable. And uh, my unit seems to work real good with a combination of wood pellets and uh, wood blocks that I make myself from hardwood. Uh, so I hadn't been running it, so I don't have any more videos right now. I'm kind of waiting till the shortage is over on the wood pellets. So anyways, let me draw this for you, and uh, hopefully I can do it so you can understand it. It's really simple. I'd recommend everybody going to the FEMA web, FEMA, and uh, type in FEMA wood gas, and they have better directions than I do, and sizing and everything for the type of motor or engine that you're going to run. Uh, so, but let me show you what I did here with my uh, electric generator, and uh, I'm going to draw it for you on this piece of paper. So, anyways, you, what I did was I I welded about uh, four R22 bottles together, and then I put in a, a four-inch steel pipe. And that's where you put the wood chips in at the top. I made a lighting hole here with a cap on it and a, another hole down here with a cap on it to take the ashes out. And then I put a stainless steel bow, drilled holes all in it, put chains up to the pipe here, three chains. And so we put this down in here. This is where the process takes place and the coals and then the ashes fall. And then at the top up here, I've got a pipe going from here to an R22 bottle. It comes in the side kind of an angle and then I've got it down here like this, the pipe going out. So when the gas comes in, it hopefully circles around and then goes out. And there's a drain down here to uh, drain the water and stuff out. A little spigot that naturally comes on the R. Oops, on the R22 bottles. You didn't see that. Oh, shit. Well, anyways, let me try this again. Four R22 bottles welded together. Four inch stainless steel pipe. You got the basket on there. You got the lighting thing with a cap on it and a, a port for uh, taking the ashes out with a cap on it. The wood chips go in here, burn the process. The wood gas accumulates in here, then goes out up here and runs over to an R22 bottle, which circulates it around and around. I got a pipe coming down in the top and then it goes back in that pipe. It goes over here to another R22 bottle that I've welded in these pipes going across. I think there's four of them another R22 bottle and this pipe here comes in and goes about to right there on it and then uh, it comes out the top and goes over to uh, an old cast iron top container that I've cut in half put a hinge on and got some 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 gasket material on it with a little lock here to hold it tight and uh, that comes in at the bottom of it actually and it got uh, a little pan or sheet metal here with holes drilled in it so that the, it actually comes in below that and this is just open then I got wood chips built all in here and then uh, my gas goes out here and then this is the uh, this is where I put the 12 volt fan on it's a little fan in there and up here with a cap on it so I can light it and the flames come out once I start producing flames then uh, I cap it back off close that up and the gas is pushed out of here then to the motor I think they make motors like this but anyways and so it, then here it goes to uh, a T and what I have on my T is a valve here and a valve here this controls the air coming in and this controls the wood gas coming in and then it goes straight into where the carburetor used to be so anyways, that's uh, pretty much what I did. But it, if I had to do anything else where well, the gas comes into the filter, I would have probably took the 
the 12 volt fan and it come off of this line somewhere here instead of making it at the top but it was easier for me with what I had to make it at the top but what happens is during the lighting it pulls all the smoke through your filter and clogs your filter up while you're trying to get it to produce wood gas so it would be better to do it on the incoming side uh, make the wood gas and then when you start pulling your you're turning your motor on then it creates a suction and pulls that over here to your motor and don't clog your filter up so I would say that uh, you know take extra time making sure it's all airtight uh, making sure you have plenty of, of uh, your radiator to cool the gas and a good filter section and overdo the filter section so so anyways thank you and have a good day